Today we're going to demonstrate how to use the Gilson HMA 608 Consolidation Test Data Acquisition Software for the measurement of soil consolidation. The Gilson Consolidation Test Data Acquisition Software is an intuitive, easy-to-use Windows-based software that records and graphs consolidation or swell of soil samples during incremental loading. Four tests can be recorded independently, each with real-time graphing and tabular data. Test results are automatically calculated in accordance with ASDM and AASHTO standards. And test results can be printed in a customizable PDF and easily exported into spreadsheet applications such as Excel. Before we start, let's review the menu options. At the top of the program window, we have File, Utilities, and Help. Click on File, and we can start a new test, open an existing test, save a test, save a test as a copy, export test results as a PDF, page setup function, preview your test report, print your test report, and exit the program. Click on Utilities, and we can enter the test settings. Click on Help to find assistance with this program or to activate your software. Here at the top, you will also see Program Command icons. Now that we have reviewed the menu bar, let's demonstrate how to perform a new consolidation test using the Consolidation Test Data Acquisition software. For this demonstration, we're going to use the software's Practice feature. More on that later. Make sure the computer is connected to the readout box or the digital dial indicator through its mini USB port. Click on File and New to begin the process. Now click on Utilities and Settings. Enter the equipment used for the test. If you are using an on-screen keyboard, like the one found on a tablet, be sure to enable pop-up keyboard's keypad function. For this demonstration, we are using a standard desktop keyboard, so we will leave this box unchecked. Now select the desired measurement units. Next, indicate which ASTM D2435 test method you are going to perform, method A or method B. Indicate the trim procedure, ring line sampler, turntable, or cutting shoe. And indicate the test or sample condition, natural moisture or inundated water. Next, specify the recording frequency. Now, select the desired graph type. Finally, enter the testing agency information that will be included in the test report. Click Save and Close. Now we're going to connect the computer to the testing device. Select the indicator type. CDI for digital dial indicators or transducer for a linear variable displacement transducer or LVDT. When using a displacement transducer, we have a digital readout box, and consequently, the readout box channel must be selected for each individual test. Next, select the serial port and click Connect to link the software to the testing device. If you are using digital dial indicator type gauges, each gauge must be connected to its serial port for each test. Click Connect to link the software to the digital dial indicator gauge. A reading should be displayed that matches the dial indicator gauge. For this demonstration, we are using a displacement transducer and a digital readout box. Feel free to click on the practice box to familiarize yourself with the program and its operation. Uncheck the practice box once you are ready to continue with the test. Once the software and the testing device is connected, 
click on the Sample Info button. Enter the project information including client, project title, and project ID. Now, enter the test information, followed by the sample information. Areas in yellow are required before you can proceed with the test. Click Save and Close. Now, click the Set File button to save your testing project. Select a file location using File Explorer, then create a file name and save. Now, position the specimen for testing on the testing device. Next, click Start Test and enter the stress value for the first stage. Once entered, select OK Start Test. Then apply the load to the sample. Readings will be displayed in real time when the load is applied to the sample. After the completion of the first stage, Select New Stage, then enter the next incremental stress value. Once entered, select OK Change Stage, and apply the next load to the sample. Repeat this step for each additional stage. You can select to watch test results in graph form in real time in each test stage or for all stages. At the completion of the final stage, select Stop Test. A dialog box will appear confirming the data has been saved to the pre-selected file. Click OK to continue. It is now OK to close the program while the final sample height, moist, and dry masses are determined. Knowing that you can reopen this specific test file to enter those final values. Now that you have the final values, reopen the test and select the Calcs and Reports button. Enter the specimen after test values and the calculation parameters. Then click Calculate. The calculated values will appear in the bottom half of the menu. Click on Calculate, Save, and Close to save the calculations and close the menu. Now the data collected will automatically be ready for analysis or export. You can preview, print, or export your data for each stage of the test or for all stages of the test. For any questions about the Gilson HMA 608 Consolidation Test Data Acquisition Software or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson Technical Support Team.